Hello again, YouTube. So here is another Alliance War video. Um, we're against this G1907. Um, we just got into tier two for the wars, you can see. So this is like, obviously the, the same map as like the tier one and the, uh, the masters and all the expert stuff. So we're gonna go in the team of Human Torch, Magneto and Archangel. So with this war, we are going to do the full path of path seven. So we're gonna be going through the conflictor fight in the first section, the vivified fight. We then take a shared fight in section one. Then section two, we do two fights and then two mini bosses. So it's a little bit of a, a more um, fun maybe video for everyone to watch, um, but it's about the same time and length as what the last one was. So here you can see, same trick as always. If I put on a pre-fight, and I'm going to use it straight away. Always go back to the home screen. Just check it's actually been placed. Uh, long shot here has been a classic, classic defender on this node. Has killed and taken lives before, even in the the wars with the highest matchups. Um, so I was a little bit cautious, especially because we normally go like white mags on top of it. So you literally cannot trigger a buff. But. I just try and push in special two, bait that dex it where I can. And apart from that, just kill him with damage. So you're gonna see human torch. So the parry obviously fails, gives them conflictor, and then we just we just start going to town basically. Um a 20% boost is probably overkill for this, realistically. Um, and you're gonna see that the fight goes pretty quickly. I think all of my fights are about a minute, I think. I'm pretty sure. Uh, so here again. We've got long shot special two, so we're just gonna try and bait that. He throws it there. Take it to the block because I'm not really interested in doing anything else. And that's it. <laughs> the first fight and one of the toughest fights where uh, Human Torch has been banned has been done. So next up, rank four Archangel against this Nick Fury. Vivified node. I was a little bit unsure about this placement. This kind of, I can see it going a couple of ways, but with like Nick, you want to push them to special two anyway. So you see, I just hold my block there, turtle up, and then wait till he comes closer, get the few neuros, and you can see just how much damage that's doing already. Bait the special two when he wants to throw it. I think if this one's right, it's just after brute force, yeah. So then he's loses his first life already. We're, what, 30 seconds in, first life's already gone. Um, again, now he's back up to another special two. So we'll bait that one again. We'll then be able to go in for another combo, throw the special one, we'll get a poison that turns into a Neuro, and then I'm basically just gonna sit here, let him kill himself, throw the final heavy, and like a 50 second fight, if that. It was, uh, it was pretty good, pretty standard. So, moved here just because it was late at night, moved here for the energy, thought, right, whoever's doing this can do it. Then, um, while I was speaking in the battle group chat, they were like, look, if you could take this fight for us now, you'd actually do us a massive favor in terms of planning and organizing it. Um, so I was like, all right, I don't have a pre-fight for Torch. I've already used it, but let me just go ahead. So every time Ebony Moore throws a special, he's going to take, it's going to reduce the power he's used by 50%. So a special one will only take half a bar of power. If he puts a debuff on me, he gets a Fury uh, benefit. So the aim and intention is to just only hit while it is the incinerate phase. So you see there, I back out. I don't even attempt to touch him while he's poisoned. The degen does a good amount of damage, but it's nothing to uh, get close to killing me off. The only time he's going to trigger a debuff on me is in a second. I could have entered or I, um, stopped the focus there, but I didn't. I let him go, and then knowing that I had the temperature, I was ignoring the falter. But because I ignored the falter, it then gave him this fury here. But you can see by the time it even matters, Ebony Moore is dead anyway. So that's one extra fight that I managed to uh, just sneak in and um, managed to take. So I wanted to just quickly test out the way of how different this fight would be against Penny now with um, Pacify on 3 out of 3. Because the last war video, as you uh, will have seen, hopefully you will have seen, I didn't have it 3 out of 3. And it still went fine, but I was just intrigued to see how much different this would be. So now the basically we're just obviously going to do the parry heavies and just keep it like that the whole time 
getting any sort of buffs or benefits while they're under the um, the stun sequence from the parry. And we're just going to try and again push it to special two where we can. So we're just holding block, ready for the re-parry. I'm not going to start doubling the charges up on the prowess until I let reach the special two, as you've seen there. I'll just start doing them now. I'm trying to just dex these and give myself a slight opening so that she'll throw the special two, which she does there. And here's where I messed up. So the one time I didn't do the parry heavy, um, she ended up triggering the spike from it. And then that's where complications can come. But again, I'm just going to try and bait the special two. I believe while I'm in the corner, she throws it here yet. And I just do a couple of normal hits because she doesn't have any charges. And now I'm just going to start doubling them again. She's got a special two. But I'm pretty confident with 41 prowess that Magneto is going to end this fight. So you're going to see here, nice good bit of damage, throw the last bit, and Penny's dropped down. So hardly any health lost um, if you actually activate the proper masteries that you should be using for that fight. I do it again, I just for this once wanted to test how much different it would be in a direct side-by-side -side comparison, with it being like one more to the next. And if people need to see the video to help them out within the alliance, especially because Penny on that node seems to be a very common placement right now. Uh, just because it means that there's only like one person who can do that fight, whereas if you leave them on 55, uh, there's like 10 members of a battle group that can technically go and do that fight. And this blade was a bit of a nuisance. Uh, missed a few parries that I wanted to hit and things like that. But once you get Neuros on these fights with Archangel, it's just ridiculous. The damage is nuts, obviously, where I can. I don't want to be pushing this blade special too, because that will hurt. But, again, he's going to get stunned here. I can go for the heavy attack. And now I basically just watch blade die from the neurotoxins. So, that's path 7 fully done. My two, like, all my main path fights and that are all finished. Because of having the masteries on for Magneto for that penny fight, I offered to... Straight away, I was like, look, I'll do this Ultron. It's about a minute, if that. And it's a pretty easy fight for Magneto. So if anyone wants to ever watch it back again, they can always see that here. So let yourself get the metal um, sort of debuff onto Ultron. Parry heavy all the way up to special three. And then from there, you can just throw the special three while Ultron is stunned. It has to be while Ultron is stunned. And then you have a 100% chance to bypass safeguard rather than just the 70% what you get while he isn't stunned. And the fight's just as simple as that. You're going to see here, again, if you want to make it that little bit quicker, if you are in an alliance, there's really pushing for the top spots that is concerned for time as well, especially in a war. You can advance power start for this. And you will be at the special free even quicker. Obviously, you'd already be there now and the fight would be over. So you're going to see here, I wait for him to come in. I miss the first attempt, get the second parry, throw the special free, and you're going to see Ultron just, there you go. Ultron just dropped. So at this point, that was the last fight of my war. Uh, perfect. It came to a little bit longer and then where I saw that we were kind of still on Miniboss Island and people were talking about counters and stuff. A couple of people had um, a rather unfortunate time in this war. So I was like, look, I have, I'm pretty sure I've done it before. I know I've definitely seen people within GT do this fight before. Spoiler alert, they're going to do it a lot better than what I did. Um, I was like, look, I can probably do this Nova, no problem with Magneto. Save yourself some items. I'll just go in and do it. So again, you could indestructible boost or power start if you're in an alliance that's uh, going for the top. The way that I'd use Magneto on Nova is to do the double bat, double dash even, and then to do the heavy attack. You still do catch them right on the end of it, as you can see there, and you can just kind of go through that way. Now it's the hazard shift and stun immune node, so there's no way that I can stun them, and that's kind of going to... It's not going to help me in terms of having the proper mastery setups as I was talking about for Ultron and Penny, but we're just going to be relying on Magneto's ability accuracy to reduce that anyway. So here you can see I do take a few hits, which obviously doesn't help. Um, he gives me the special one again. I hit them a couple of times just to back them up. 
Uh, very, very late with the heavy punch there. Very, very late. You can see with the others, I'm not too bad, but that one was terrible. Perfectly now, if I could, I want to be able to charge up my heavy attacks. I want him to throw the special one. And I'm trying to get him to do it, but here you go. Midway through, my specialty decides to throw it. So I just decide to hold up the prowesses and charge them to just give myself as much of it as I can. Because this fight wasn't going in my favor at the time. Throw the special free. Does a decent amount of damage. Again, if you have suicides on, that probably already leaves them on like 30%. But you just have to maintain this fight and keep your composure. Yes, you can get caught by a special one from Nova or something like that. Just as long as he just doesn't go red, especially if you don't have an indestructible, you can always come back into this fight. Because if you had, say, 20 prowesses when you threw that special free, by the time the bleeds and the shrapnel bleed and everything else were done, you would have already killed this Nova. So again, not a perfect fight, but it's a way to get your full attack bonus. And that's all I appreciate, especially in this season. So again, um, I'm pretty sure we're going to have lost this war. That's why I'm publishing it so early. Um, if anything does change or the, when the final scores are done, I'll leave a comment in the bottom of the video. And again, as per usual, thank you everyone for all the support as always. Um, I am going to start streaming again soon. I know I always keep saying it, but appreciate you. If you do like the video, please like it. Give me a comment and uh, subscribe so you can see more in the future. Thank you very much for watching.